During these difficult times, we understand how important it is to stay healthy and safe. With so many of us confined to our homes and not being able to work, we feel the financial burden more than ever. Many folks lost their jobs and businesses. Others were furloughed and some are working from home at reduced pay. Keeping up with your bills is not easy under these circumstances. If you have credit card debt and cannot keep up with your monthly payments, we at Debt Fix Pros are here to help. Give us a call to see how we can reduce your interest rates and lower your monthly payments. Protect your credit and let us help you find a solution that fits your needs. We, your friends at Debt Fix Pros, are here to help. Let us take care of your credit card debt so you can focus on what is really important. Call for a free phone consultation at 800-919-6011. 800-919-6011. That's 800-919-6011. 800-919-6011. United We Stand. The Turnpike Sports Book Report. The Turnpike Sports Book Report is brought to you by BorgataSports.com. Your favorite casino is now your favorite sports book. Available anywhere in New Jersey, BorgataSports.com. Sign up at BorgataSports.com using our promo code PIKE, that's P-I-K-E. Make your first wager of $20 or more and you'll get $100 in free bets. That's $100 in free bets when your first wager on Borgata Sports is $20 or more. Get into the action with BorgataSports.com. Must be 21 years or older and in New Jersey to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And welcome to this week's edition of the Turnpike Sports Book Report, where I think the word of the day is going to be records. Yes, state records are being uh, set everywhere. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting because we just went through another long week. We're here at the end of a week where we just got back from the SBC Summit North America. It's the end of the week here, and still another busy, busy week in the sports betting industry. It's always a busy week. October is continuing to set records. We've got a bunch of legislative updates all of a sudden to talk about, a couple launches as well, and some uh, deals to hit. Oh, and by the way, a state first reporting its numbers. Yes, the very first state. The first, yeah, the we also very, have the first sports betting bill filed for uh, the upcoming legislative session. Okay, so, uh, all right, so, couple of firsts. Uh, yeah, but let's uh, let's start with the numbers. Let's hit all some right. of the highlights here. Nevada has now joined the billion dollar club. They just set a record handle in October of one point one billion dollars in handle for sports betting. I should be smug and say. Way to go, Nevada. I mean, you're still not New Jersey, but gosh darn it, you're doing great. You're you're patting them on the head? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Well, they have now joined New Jersey (laughs) as the only two states. As an unofficial representative of New Jersey, I want to welcome Nevada to the Billion Dollar a Month Club. I'm very curious to see if they actually have the same streak New Jersey's having. New Jersey has done it twice in a row now, September and October. Both over $1 billion. In November, I'm hearing rumblings that it's not that great. So, Really? Not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hearing rumblings. I'm, 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 it, 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 first off, it's never going to live up to October. October has every sport playing. It's got the World Series. It's got every sport you want. October is the, uh, the money pot right there. For uh, sports betting. Well, if you don't count the March Madness stuff and all, you know, I, it's, it's it's still still. I I don't know. It's I mean, I think sport. I think October and and you're, are you the only reason I'm going to say you may see November challenging October is because we have more states coming on board. And okay, we'll do that. Do it, but that on way. a state by state basis, I think you're going to see numbers in November that are a little lower. Maybe in some cases a lot lower than October. So. Well, staying with Nevada. Nevada's October handle ranks second all-time nationally. To who? New Jersey. <gasps> oh, okay. As a matter of fact, New Jersey <laughs> holds the first and third position. They had um, uh, the October handle was one point three one billion, and the uh, September handle was about one point one. But mm-hmm. basically, what Nevada did in October. Mm-hmm. So first is Jersey, second Nevada, third is Jersey. You know, I'm joking around. I'm being a jerk, but but, but it's great to see these numbers coming out of Nevada because one of the arguments when all this sports betting started outside of Nevada was, gee, is this going to hurt Nevada? Are the numbers going to go down for Nevada? But it's 
really great to see Nevada pull in this kind of number with the growth of sports betting in other states. Well, we're not done talking did about Nevada. I cover Nevada. myself after yes, that? You did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Nevada's year-to-date revenue for 2021 of $357.2 million is the most by that state's sports books in a single year since sports betting became legal on a state-by-state basis since PASPA was overturned. Mm-hmm. The previous high in revenue was $329 million. That was back in 2019. But their their year to date revenue for this year, two thousand twenty one, three hundred fifty seven point two million. Great. Let's go to. We had a whole bunch of other states reporting. We had Nevada, Colorado, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Virginia, Delaware reported their numbers, and it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see everybody in that family of uh, states set records except for Delaware. Okay. Delaware except did for not. Delaware, Delaware right. did not set a record. But uh, we have Colorado became the 17th state to set a monthly all-time high for handle in October, mm-hmm. followed by Virginia, which set, which became the 18th state to set a record handle and in didn't, October. And didn't they, uh, Virginia, didn't they get to $2 billion the quickest? Uh, Virginia became, you're right, Virginia became the quickest state in the United States history to reach $2 billion in lifetime wagers. They did it in fewer than 10 months. New Jersey was the previous fastest, did it in 10 months. Oh, so they broke New Jersey's record by what days? Is Again, that what another we're New about? Jersey thing. Yes. Well, I, I'm no. I'm just talking. I'm just. They're each ten. Virgi- months. Virginia, Virginia, so Virginia started January 21st. So of this year, 20, January 21st of this year. Okay. They they got to two billion dollars. Just under months. ten months. Just under ten months. Okay. Yeah. yeah fewer than to, ten months. Fewer than ten Trying to figure out months. how they broke New Jersey's record when they New had Jersey the was the months. quickest, and then all of a sudden Virginia comes in. Does it in just under 10 months. Just under 10 months. Okay. Yes, no. So New Jersey got to $2 billion in 10 months. Virginia got to in $2 billion in fewer than 10 months. So Virginia has the record. Virginia is the that, That's what we were trying to say. I'm waiting to see who's going to break for that, that record, though. I, there's got to be someone coming out of nowhere that's going to be able to break that record huh. in terms of hand. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a... Maybe Arizona. Florida? Florida is not even out of the Well, the I mean, when yet. when Florida starts, they have some pretty big cities in Florida. I'm thinking so. Arizona may be the fastest. Well, Arizona, yeah, sure, Arizona. But, you know, Florida has some pretty big cities. Once Florida starts, I'm curious to see how quickly they get to $2 billion. New York, May. Well, they do may. have sports betting already. Well, I'm They don't have about, mobile sports betting. Exactly. But I'm, I'm just wondering what other state. California, maybe? California is so far away from having sports betting. Well, there, just, there's four ballot initiatives yeah, being pushed yeah. through. So Great. You, you know how long they take to do? We had Rhode Island and New Hampshire both set record handles. Uh, we had Connecticut releasing their very first numbers. Yes, yes. They reported a total handle of $54.6 million. Now, most of that was online because they had a s- soft launch on October 12th of just the online books. The retail books didn't open until the last week in October. So who's the big winner in uh, Connecticut? Uh, it was uh, it was DraftKings. So that's... Uh, Foxwoods. Foxwoods, yeah, Foxwoods. The two-story... You know, it's interesting. As we're speaking uh, right now, I, the morning show from Vizen is coming from the DraftKings and Foxwoods. Really? Yes, yes. They that's... announced it last week, which is right now when we're taping this. I, I'm trying to project... So I can say, right now, Vizen's in uh, Foxwoods. Well, according to the... For the week, anyway. Mashantucket Pequot Tribe, which okay. is Foxwoods. Yes. They saw more revenue from the online book than the retail book, which goes without saying because the online book was running longer than the retail book. <laughs> but from what I hear, the retail book is beautiful. Well, I I hope to see it. Like I said, Vizen's in there this week. I probably have seen it already. I can predict the future when I'm taping this so far in advance so uh yeah no it, it, they're going to be there and it should be a great time and uh yeah first off mobile is going to do great in connecticut anytime you have these northern uh states january february and most of march even a little part of april the weather is awful it's terrible you don't want to go outside the wind is stinging in connecticut foxwoods and mohegan suns mohegan sun I pluralize that. Well, I don't know why. They're out in the middle of nowhere. They're in the woods, and it is cold as hell out there in the wintertime. So uh, 
If you can do uh, mobile sports betting in, in Connecticut, do it. Going over to another state that begins with the letter C, we, we mentioned Colorado became the 17th state to set a monthly all-time high for handle in October. They also became the ninth state to surpass $25 million in revenue in a month. Oh, okay. They joined New Jersey, of course, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Indiana, Virginia, Michigan, and Tennessee. Well, look, Colorado is a uh, top tier market when it comes to sports betting. So Very quickly became a top it's really, tier market. It's really great. What do they have? I, right? I don't even. I don't even know how many sports books they have in there. They've it's, got like what twenty five, twenty six online some, books. Something crazy. Something crazy. But again, you know, it's it's a. I'm it's saying a, something crazy. New Jersey is like twenty. 324 i don't i don't know well it's a matter of having an open market you know not doing sure. the deals like uh new hampshire and new york have been doing i gotta tell you there's one, nothing one like everyone says oh my god the market's so crowded but you know what that's so good for the consumer because each of the sports books are trying to outdo them the other one in you know props and benefits for your customers and uh, promotions and things like that. It, it is so great. You know how many free bets you get in these different sports books just to make it more attractive to customers? There's nothing, it, it, there's nothing like a free market competition to really help out the consumer. Well, again, it, it's also a matter of even the, without the promos because like states like Nevada don't allow people, the online books to offer promos. They don't? No. Really? Huh. So uh, I, I know their menu is a lot less than New Jersey. About I know the sign up bonuses, well, the I, first I know, free bets. Yeah, all I know. That I, stuff. Kn I know that that kind of stuff is a lot less than New Jersey. I, I know it's a lot less than Colorado. I know a lot of sports betters who say, you know what, we're looking at moving to Colorado because you can make more money in Colorado with uh, your betting. So um, I, I, Nevada probably would have to change that in the future. I'm they not still sure have the in-person registration. Do, yeah, I know. They're going to have to do something. I mean, there's just so much competition, so they got to change with the times. Stay. Although they had $1.1 billion in, uh, in handle, so I don't know how much changing they have to do. Well, you got to remember, Nevada was aided by the fact that Las Vegas finally reopened, too. Yeah, but they they've been open for a couple months now. They've been open since they had you know, one of their best tourist months in October. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, well. Also, a lot of poker players went to Las Vegas for the World Series of Poker, and and that sure helped everything out. Well, according to some of the research out there, Las Vegas tourism they reached their highest visitor count since the since the pre pandemic. Well, they're certainly in October. It. They're certainly pushing it. I see a lot of uh, commercials visit Las Vegas, visit Nevada, in New Jersey here. So uh, you know they're they're really making a push for tourism. I'm wondering how the winter months on the East Coast are going to help Nevada because there's got to be a lot of people trying to get out for the winter, January, February. I mean, I know Super Bowl. That's, but I wonder how much more it's going to be aided. By the cold weather on the east, bring people over to the west. Well, look, I mean, we usually go to Atlantic City for the Super Bowl, and it's packed because the deals are so great. I mean, the why? First off, I don't like flying, and I certainly don't like flying nowadays and things like that. It's just crazy there. So you know what? I stay in my home state. I uh, go to Atlantic City. And the deals are great because, like I said, there's a lot of casinos there. There's a lot of hotels there, and they're really competing for your dollar, and it keeps the prices down, and there's tons of stuff to do in the different sports books in the city, and uh, it's great. And, 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 and the promos are amazing online, too, for the, uh, for the uh, sports books, the mobile sports books. So um, it, it pays to stay home. Well, before, For me, anyway. before we get off the numbers, all right. last, last number comes from Colorado again. Table tennis. Oh, jeez. What is it, number six? Nope. Seven? It's, it's in the top ten. It's number seven. Okay. It's dropping down. It's usually ten, six. Ten point three, I don't get that at $10.3 $10. million dollars in handle. $10.3 million. Really? It, it was 2.1% what, of the, the state's total handle. They love their table tennis in Colorado. What's the Oregon. other one? Oregon. Oregon. Oregon loves table tennis, too. So. But it, it's it's still mystifying to me how how table hey, tennis you know has become so popular. If you make money, if you like watching it, if you make money doing it, good, great, knock yourself out. I I just don't get it. Maybe 
the way I watched it, it was streaming during on one of the uh, mobile sports books. Obviously, they someone just put a camera there, and you just saw the uh, table. You didn't even see the players; you just saw the ball go back and forth. So the production value wasn't great. Maybe if the production value was better, I'd maybe get into it. Maybe if uh, there were announcers there that like filled me in on the different players or the game and games too fast kinda for that help, kind of stuff. I know, know kind of helped me out and with the game, but you know. The, the way I saw it, the way I first observed it, it wasn't, you know, it it didn't pull me in. Well, just on an aside with the table tennis that you just mentioned, yeah, a company called Better B E T E R over overseas. I've heard of them, yeah. Uh, just introduced heart rate monitoring for the Setka Cup table tennis tournaments. Oh boy! So you can actually look at the physiological changes during the match and figure out your in-play betting. Or in match well, the betting, problem with say. that is I don't know how to interpret that. You know, if someone starts his heart rate, well, up, you'd have to learn how to that, read. Does that, what does that tell me? Does, well, does it tell it me to on on something? Something? See, that's the thing. You got all this raw data, but uh, yeah. it's really a matter of how they present the data. And if they're going to show you, like, like in the video games where yeah. a guy's energy is dragging down, okay, you know that could help. You know, the better. I look, don't know about the raw data unless you know the heartbeat per minute I, of an average table tennis player. Data is great. Data helps you out. But what's even more important than the data is some instruction on how to interpret the data. Because if I see somebody, well, like you said, the heart rate is going up for a table tennis player. Well, Should where, it? Where, where do I take that? <laughs> I don't I don't know where to take that. Boy, the other guy's uh, level. Boy, does that mean he's focused and he's focused in on the game and this other guy's nervous because he's losing how do how do i interpret that you well know, I, I would assume I don't, know. I don't know i would assume accelerated heart rate means the guy's either tired that might be a little over that might be a little overkill I don't, I, in information. you know i think every little bit helps a better if you're that hardcore into betting on a certain sport yeah but well if you know how to read it going over to a couple launches in wisconsin the oneida nation began taking bet sports bets last week at the tribe's main casino the oneida casino yes and the uh the bingo queens were there i don't know what that means but i read it in the article but uh the bingo queens placed the first bet what does that mean is well, bingo it, that big there well the oneida casino was a bingo hall okay and the two the two women that they called the bingo the bingo queens were actually the pioneers in the bingo industry for that state. Okay, all right. I didn't know that. What, yeah. what did they? Were they employed by the? They started up their the bingo own, hall, or I, I, I think they were. Were they employed, just really they good customers? The no, they ran the tournament. Oh, okay. So they were. They were the oh, great. You they know, were that's famous. A, they were famous bingo players. See, that's a cool move. I, I like that. That was a good move by the casino. You, you know, you you bring in. People from the community that really helped out the industry. That was uh, that was a nice gesture. And uh, regarding that property, it's the only place sports betting is allowed at the United Casino. The tribe owns two other casinos. There's no sports betting at those. Okay, and, I, and I'm assuming no mobile. No mobile. No mobile. Okay. And also, the United Casino is right by the main airport in Wisconsin. Ooh, nice. Okay. So good location. Good location. Ballybet went live in Virginia around Thanksgiving. They are now the 10th sports book in Virginia. And Virginia is also the third state for Ballybet. They're also live in Colorado and Iowa. And then the next state they said they have plans to launch in is Indiana. Also in Virginia, state officials granted temporary sports betting licenses to Betway and SI Sportsbook. Okay. Uh, that's, that'll be the state's 12th and 13th sports books. Oh, by the way, stay tuned for an interview about Betway coming up very soon right yes okay yes see uh, I, I asked doug he's the producer of this show and also the national radio show and i'm not sure where the uh the interview is going to go to first me you, you'll decide i guess yes huh? me running all these stuff here yeah you know, it kind of explains why sometimes i'm scattered okay all right. so uh but staying with the uh no but you'll hear a lot more of betway yes in the Com in the coming weeks in the coming weeks on, on both shows we're going to be talking about legislation now. We have a, uh, in California, we just talked about, you know, they're so far away from sports betting. A new poll by FM3 Research and EMC Research indicates only 37% of voters support legalizing online and mobile sports wagering. Uh-oh. Yes. Well, how do they feel about retail? From what, uh, <laughs> that's from what good, previous that's polls. That's not a good sign. From what previous polls have shown when they talk about overall sports betting, the number does go down. Hmm. So there, there is a lot of uh, oh, well. reticence about sports betting in California. 
But uh, boy, is Nevada thrilled to hear that? Oh, I think Arizona is more thrilled. We were hoping in New Jersey that uh, New Yorkers didn't want mobile, but nope, they love it, and they're getting it. We have the actual first uh, bill being filed in Missouri for sports betting. Missouri House Bill 1666 was filed by Republican Representative Phil Cristofanelli. Okay. bill sets forth the tax rate of 6.75%, does not have a official data league mandate. Yeah, so you can use any data you want. And it allows for sports governing bodies to request that certain events or bet types be banned. Okay. So kind of a straight-ahead straight ahead sports betting bill there. Arkansas Racing Commission, which regulates all gambling in the state, is set to vote on December 30th on a rule change that would allow mobile sports betting in the state. Okay. So they may actually end up being the first southern state with, with both um, mobile and retail. Great. Because Florida... It has not yet started anything yet. They had the online only right now, but we'll see what happens with that. That's the retail the books air. have not launched yet. Right now, it's it's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens with Florida. Florida is going to be a big indication moving forward, I think, of how the Department of Interior handles these Indian compacts. Well, it's, go, it's going yeah. to be interesting to watch what happens there. We have in Chicago, the Chicago City Council is considering an ordinance that would allow sports book facilities at or near the city's five professional sports stadiums. Hmm. Okay. And uh, there's uh, a lot of controversy about because there's some disinformation being sent out there by opponents of this. Uh, they're saying that it's going to be casinos kind of set up near, you, the, I, near I, the sports fields. I remember doing a story about a sports book <laughs> near or in Wrigley Park. The story you did a while back. Months ago. The, yeah. yeah, months ago. They still have to go through this ordinance. Okay. That's part all right. of all this. These are going to be sports-themed bars, sports bars with sports betting inside them. You, you mean the kiosks? Is that what we're talking about? No, they're, they're talking about some tote boards and everything else. Okay. All right. But they're also going to be, it's going to be more of a bar with sports betting, not a sports book with a bar. Okay. So I think they're, semantics there a uh, couple of deals to hit real quick sport radar announced a multi-year sports betting partnership with with points bet that establishes sports sport radar i always want to say sports radar it's sport radar as points bets official u.s supplier of choice for mlb nba nhl college football and college basketball the sixth multi-year deal for sport radar with a top tier sports book for u.s sports data they are slowly taking over a lot of stuff and uh, their only competition out there is Genius. Yeah, I see Sport Radar's name everywhere. I think I said that last week. Every time I watch a TV show, I did nine times out of ten, Sport Radar is in the final credits. And speaking of the other company, Genius. Okay. Genius announced a partnership with the National Lacrosse League. Oh, okay. They will be launching a new free-to-play pick'em game called the NNL, the NLL Pick'em Challenge. Uh, fans are going to have to answer 10 questions every week leading up to the uh, weekend's action for the uh, lacrosse league. And the uh, winners of these quizzes can get real money or prizes or some sort of package that they get from uh, uh, the NLL. I have to look up and see if I have a local professional lacrosse team. Well, which league? N -N -N -L -L well, is let's different. stick There's with the NLL. I don't think there is one in, in New Jersey. Well, well, we're near Philadelphia and New York. There might be a so. Philly one. I, I don't know. I would think New York. Wouldn't they have one in New York? I have to take a look because it's it's a, it's still not a huge league. It's like eight teams or ten oh, okay. teams. So, And last but not least, DraftKings announced a multi-year financial commitment to Kindbridge Research Institute for a new research program to study the nexus of veterans and responsible gaming. Okay. Yep. Just wanted to do a responsible gaming story. Throw okay, it in good. There. And also, if I remember correctly, I don't have it in my notes here because it just happened. The Rangers, the Knicks, MSG joined the American Gaming Association's Bet Responsibly Have a Game Plan program. Great. Uh, that's it for this week's book report. Um, you know, this, this, the print version of this, which has a lot more stories than we just talked about, will be available about an hour or so after the show publishes. Head on over to TurnpikeSportsRadio.com and click on the blog button there, and you'll see the print version of the book report. That'll do it for us this week. We'll see you next time on the Turnpike. Turnpike.